Welcome to the Mega Man Unlimited Extras video. Our first extra is going to be taking a look at the alternate difficulties. So, not much to say here. Uh, easy mode has more platforms, and that's pretty much it. Enemies also do less damage. So, enjoy this little montage. I will see you all for the next extra. Welcome to the next extra! So, we are now going to cover Z prototype mode. Beating the game once unlocks you the ability to play as Z prototype. The prototype of the ultimate robot, Zero. Zero can't visit a shop, just so you know. This was not in the original release of Mega Man Unlimited. This was in a later update. Uh, it's amazing that they would uh, they would let you play as the secret final boss of the game in a brand new mode with brand new rules. Speaking of which, let's go over those rules. Z prototype. As you can see, well, as you'll see in a second, because it's not really obvious yet. Z prototype is a lot more vulnerable than Mega Man because anytime Z prototype attacks. He actually loses health. He's a prototype robot master. He's extremely powerful, but he also has some weaknesses. Again, anytime he attacks, he loses health. However, anytime he hits an enemy that he attacks, he gains health. His sliding is his back. His dashing is basically the equivalent of sliding. Uh, he can't do the wall jump, at least not right now. He can't. Actually, no, I don't think he can wall jump at all. No, it's just team people up for something that might possibly not actually be real. Um, Z prototype starts off with the Z knuckle ability. Pretty basic. It's like the Mega Buster, but short range. 
Also, anytime you use it, you lose health, as you can see. Um, spikes still kill him in one hit. Doesn't really need special weapon energy. Well, well, he will need it eventually. Basically, Z Prototech does not um, copy Robot Master abilities once he beats them, because he's not a Mega Man or a Proto Man. He's not a Dr. Light creation. And this is something that tracks even in the, uh, the Mega Man Zero series and the Mega Man X series. So, very nice that they're not, that they're not, uh, you know, trashing the lore just for the sake of uh, making it easier for themselves as developers. Basically, anytime Z Prototype defeats a Robot Master, he will get a new ability. Not a new power, necessarily, but a new ability. Some abilities, if you've played the Mega Man X series or the Zero series or the ZX series, are going to be very, very familiar to you. And, you know, I'm not going to spoil what they are, because I'm not going to show you. For the purposes of this video, I'm just showing you that there is a Z prototype mode and that you can't play as Zero and that it's really fucking cool. But I'm only going to show you one level, and I'm not going to show you any special powers. If you want to find out what it is, you have to play the game yourself. It's really cool. Uh, all you have to do is beat the game once. I believe on original mode or instant death mode, you can't do it on, uh, on easy mode and expect to have Z prototype unlocked. Beat the game once in original mode, whatever it takes, and you will have Z prototype to have your Z prototype playthroughs and your Z prototype fun. Uh, pretty much everything here is the same as it was before. You know, bosses do the exact same thing. They don't change strategies just because you're Z prototype. Uh, things don't do more damage to you. I mean, no, they don't do more damage. They do, they do the exact same amount of damage they would do to Mega Man. And in easy mode, they would do the same amount of damage to Mega Man as, you know, easy mode enemies would do to Mega Man in an easy mode playthrough. And in an instant death mode, uh, anything will kill you in one hit, just like in Mega Man's instant death mode. So, enjoy. So, it's not much, not much more to say. And yet the stage still goes on because once again, my only complaint about Mega Man Unlimited, very long stages. Oh, I hope you noticed at the very beginning of the video, I didn't mention this because uh, we didn't have a chance to yet. But at the very beginning of the video, the extras theme, the, the title theme that you heard, was an alternate title theme. That's what I wanted to say. That's the English I wanted to use. The title theme you heard was an alternate title theme because there's more than one title theme for this game. It plays randomly. There's no, uh, just no telling which title theme you can get. Because I got the one that I got in the beginning, it's why I've been using that for all the intros. But really, if I got the other one, I probably would have been using that for all the intros too. So, you know. Just the luck of the draw that I got uh, title theme A and not title theme B. But I decided for the purposes of this extra video, I'll show you what title theme B was. Also, I didn't explain it before we uh, showed the comparison before between original and easy mode, but uh, there's also instant death mode. I already described what Mr. Death Mode is, and the name itself should clue you into what it is. Um, you know, you die in one hit. Everything does. Everything else is the same as it is in original mode, except you die in one hit. That's that's all there is to it. If you beat Instant Death Mode as Z Prototype, then you will get a new title. Not a new uh, title theme, but a new title screen. Basically, it's the zero that we saw in the border of my finale part of Mega Man Unlimited. I'm not going to show it here in this extra video, so I just want to show it in some form. So I put it there in the border of the, of the finale video. Bosses SE prototype play the same as they do. You know, not much to it. Be very careful, though. You don't want to get hit by bosses too much. You want to make sure that you're always hitting bosses with your attacks, whether it's Z-Knuckle or other things that you get. The Saber! The Saber! You get the Saber! Spoiler alert. But yeah, it's a very, very, very fun extra that was added in later as a uh, free update, so enjoy it. Because you deserve it as a Mega Man fan for playing one of the most difficult Mega Man games of all time. You deserve the prize of replayability as a completely different character with completely different rules. That makes it a completely fresh experience. And that's that. Time to see what uh, ability we get. Also, the fucking music when you beat a boss. It's so reminiscent to Mega Man Zero. It's, it's great. It's wonderful. And it's the EX series. <sighs> Shot the fuck. That is so fucking cool that he gets that. 
and they don't actually show you. They just, they just tell you how to do it and what the effect of, of your new learned ability is. That's so fucking cool. The Z prototype also has access to uh, certain extra modes that we're going to be covering right now. You can also go to Yoko Man stage, as you can see. So, you know, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at what stuff Z prototype can do. Outside of the main campaign, anyway. God, I love that theme. Sorry, I'm, st I'm, I'm listening to it. I shouldn't be listening to it, but it's such a good theme. <sighs> anyway, Z prototype can play the uh, endless boss attack, the endless attack, the endurance attack. He can't do whirlpool man stage, and he can't do challenges. But the first three bonuses he can't do, so. Enjoy. And we're gonna move on now and talk about all this stuff in separate sections. So if you're wondering what all this is, we're gonna talk about it now. As soon as this is done. Is this done? Yes, it is. Okay, first actual bonus mode that we're gonna be covering is the endless attack mode. Uh, you've already played Mega Man 9 and 10, you know what this is. Random mismatch of screens and enemies and stage obstacles that you have to get through. Survive for as long as you can, go through as many screens as you can, and, you know, just keep going until you eventually die. Not much more to it than that. Not a lot of the, uh, of the Mega Man fan games have the extra mode. Especially not extras mode that are reminiscent to the uh, extras of Mega Man 9 and 10, so it's really, really nice that they would have all this. By the way, I'm going to mention this now since I have the opportunity. I'm not going to show Whirlpool Man's uh, stage here, because I already showed it in part 3 of the main campaign. Whirlpool Man is technically an extra, though. And if I hadn't screwed up the order of when I played the stage, I would be showing it here instead of... Uh, as part of the main campaign, but I didn't, so if you want to take a look at what Whirlpool Man's stage is, you're going to want to have to go to part three of Let's Play Mega Man Unlimited, Shameless Plug, Shameless Plug. <sighs> anyway, I think I die right about here at some point. I think I fall, or I get hit enough, or something happens. Either way. There's not much to it than, than just, you know, jumping and shooting until you die. Oh, I actually make it past here. Oh, I remember. The first time I did this, I died at this part. Earlier, actually, earlier in this part. I think I might die. I, mean, I think I might still die here, but... Or maybe not. I don't know. It's kind of an experience seeing this again. So I haven't looked at this footage in, in a while. Like I said, way back in part one, I've been sitting on this footage for a while, so... It's a whole new experience for me to see this again. See what I was up to. Huh. Not bad, me. Not bad at all. Hmm. Get past that Sniper Joey. Sniper Joey. I think I finally got that. Because the Sniper Joes in this game were called Sniper Joe E. As in Joe. Okay, well, I'm a moron. I am a stupid person that didn't get the obvious pun. Hmm. Fascinating. Wow. No, sorry, I'm, I'm, still, I'm still caught up on that Joe E thing. That's. Hmm. How did I not? Joey. Joey. God, fuck. How did I not see that? Hmm. By the way, Yoku's, when they hit something that uh, they can't penetrate, it causes um, backlash to your character, like, like you get hit back a little bit. Whatever. We're done with Endless Attack now. Joey, God, how did I never fucking see that? You can also do the, all these bonus modes with the Buster Charger Nut. All 
Or maybe I'm just not seeing it correctly. Maybe maybe it wasn't even Joe E. Maybe it was like Joe M or something. I would have seen it if it... Whatever, I'm going to stop doing that. Welcome to Endless Boss Attack. It's like Endless Attack, except instead of endlessly running through stages and enemies and stuff, you just fight bosses again and again and again until you die. That's, that's all there is to it. Just keep fighting bosses. <clears throat> hmm. Nice, refreshing water. I'm recording this right after the finale, so that's, that was already like 40 minutes of talking, and now I'm talking some more. That's good for a recently recovering sore throat person. much more to this particular extra mode than that. Oh, except for the fact that Whirlpool Man's here. Whirlpool Man being the bonus boss that isn't part of the main campaign at all. He is in these extras modes. So, extra modes. So, enjoy that. They incorporate him one way or another. Still, though, despite the fact that I don't have much to say, it's wonderful that all this extra stuff is in here. It really it does add a lot of replay value. It's really, you know, just stellar and above and beyond work, so. Come on, take your death. There we go. Time to move on to the next exciting extra. And by the way, you can also change your buster here from default to charged. Hmm, that was a long burp, but quiet. Fascinating. Joey, though, what the hell was that about? Joey, how did I never not see the Joey connection? That's. <sighs> Do I need to reevaluate my life? <laughs> I'm, I'm, no, I'm, I'm losing my mind over the Joey thing. I can't, I can't believe I never, I never saw the Joey thing. It's just, it's driving me nuts. It's, it's just how, whatever. Welcome to Endurance Attack, the next extra of Mega Man Unlimited. Uh, it's just like Endless Attack, except the stages are in order. You have to get through 70 stages, and if you do, then congratulations. You got a special reward at the end. I won't tell you what it is. You'll have to play the game for yourself and, and figure that out, so... Enjoy the challenge. If you've mastered Endless Attack, then Endurance Mode is going to be uh, very, very fun for you. Just an extremely long, grueling gauntlet of Mega Man that you can memorize and master. Because bits and pieces of this are Endless Attack, but just in a certain order. So, you know. Have fun, try your best, and... And that'll be that. That'll be all she wrote, as they say. I'm trying not to to slip back into rambling about the Joey thing, but it's just it's really sticking in my craw a little bit that I never ever saw that. It's I mean, how do I not? I'm not going to lose my mind over that. I am going to stay quite sane. Thank you. I survived this long. I, I'll be fine with the, with the Joey thing. I'm just gonna not think about it anymore. Just gonna calm down, relax, enjoy Mega Man and some Mega Man Unlimited with some very, very good uh, endurance mode music. I'm not even gonna think about the Joey connection. And teleport. There we go. That's nice. That's good. These modes really are all wonderful and do add a lot of replayability to Mega Man Unlimited. Despite my incoherent ramblings and despite my anger at not seeing the Joey thing. This really is wonderful that this is here. And again, as I said during the Z prototype mode extra, uh, Endless Attack, Endless Boss Attack, and Endurance Attack are all playable by either Mega Man with a Charge Buster or Z Prototype. <laughs> now 
This next extra, however, the challenges, cannot be played by Z Prototype. Only Mega Man can take part in these challenges. Basically, there are two types of challenges. There's perfect bosses and Omega bosses. Yes, finally, we're gonna talk about Omega bosses. First though, we're gonna talk about the perfect bosses. Perfect bosses, as you could imagine, are perfect run-throughs of a boss. Similar to certain challenges in Mega Man 10, where they would pitch you against a boss and dare you to beat it and hopefully not take damage. This one makes you beat it and not take damage because you only have one health and they don't give you special weapons. Fight the boss and get good. This is what I do to practice for bosses in Mega Man Unlimited. It's do them this way. Very, very, uh, very demanding. But besides the perfect bosses, there are also... There are also... Come on. Come on me, there we go. There are also Omega Bosses. Omega Bosses are super hard versions of the regular boss. There's two themes to the Omega Bosses. Originally, it was just gonna be the, uh, the regular boss theme as it always has been, but in a later update, they changed it to the... the Crab Boss and Octopus slash Squid Boss of the Wily Castle. So you have a Wily Castle boss theme for those Omega Bosses. Uh, they are also much harder than they were in the original playthrough. Tank Man, for example, as you can see, is firing his uh, his shots way, way, way faster than he has any right to. Instead of firing one shot when he's uh, backpedaling there, back treading, or as I should say, instead of firing one shot, he fires like three shots. It's crazy. It's fast. It's insane. Omega bosses are not easy, but if you defeat an Omega boss, you get a special Omega reward. Uh, as you can see, you see the water cannon right now. Just you know. Make the water cannon. You see the uh, the special weapon bar top left. Pay attention to that because now, as you can see, I've beaten a Whirlpool Man, the Omega version of Whirlpool Man. And if I were to use his special weapon, the water cannon, now has an Omega symbol under the uh, special weapon bar. You only waste half your uh, special weapon energy from this point onward. You can turn that off anytime you want, though, if you want a fair challenge. Otherwise, though, that's a reward for beating Omega bosses. It's a pretty good reward, I think. Well worth your time and adds a lot of replayability to a game that already has a lot going for it. Okay, I'm not gonna go on for much long because I really don't have that much more to say. Right now, I'm just showing you two important things to take a look at when you, uh, when you first download Mega Man Unlimited, the instruction manual which is done in, you know, a la the original Nintendo NES Mega Man games. Very, very fun to look at. And taking a look at the README. There's not much to it. Just these are two things you're going to definitely want to look at before you start playing Mega Man Unlimited. Uh, they took their time to put those together, and you should definitely, you know, be sure to take a look at that to see any information that, uh, that they have to offer before you start playing. I love this game. This game is wonderful. I have no more to say, so I'm going to sign off early and let this play out. Bye-bye, guys. I'll see you all when I see you. Have a great day.